smile for the camera. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I asked Troy how crazy he was, right? Huh? All he did was laugh. <laughs> so I was like, yo, you wanna fly out to Illinois to grab a truck? <laughs> That's what he said, why not? Make some money. <laughs> now he asked me how much how crazy I was. I told him on a scale of one to ten, I'm a four. Four ten being the highest. And then he asked me if I want to fly to the noise. I said, well, I'm not doing that whole Halloween. I don't have to vote or nothing like that. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna, I'll just go. Go with the flow. So that's what we're doing right now, y'all. Gigs. So guys, it's uh, 6.34 p.m. And I am in uh, Newark, New Jersey. I'm getting ready to board a flight to Illinois. I've never actually been to uh, Chicago besides being in the Chicago O'Hare airport. So this be, I think we're flying out of there. It's be a first time for me. It is Friday, and uh, tomorrow's Halloween. <laughs> but uh, instead of enjoying any festivities or doing anything during this COVID situation, I'm actually going to be grinding to make some income. Why not, right? Side gig hustling. Um, you know, when you uh, <clears throat> have a goal, you shoot for it. That's what I'm doing right now. This gig is going to drop something from one part of Illinois to another part for about two and a half hours buying uh, driving trucks that does not require a CDL and um, we're literally going to fly right out right after so it's going to be a quick like kind of like a 24 hour gig not even 24 hours fly there rest your head for a second and fly right back and uh, then I got some other stuff to do and just some personal stuff to do after that when I get back home but yeah yo that's how we doing it side hustle we gotta do what we gotta do to make it make it happen there's opportunities out there guys normally i like to do you know the uber eats the doordash and um but this service this company is something different it's a small company i want to say fairly small but they get work that's a little different from most and um like this right now I'm like this is the first time i've ever done anything like this actually being flown out all expenses paid of course because you know they're paying us to do the job we make about four hundred dollars uh just for this trip and then you know i get paid for the gas that i use to get to the headquarters and back home so well maybe 450 ish that's what i'm making for this uh trip and it's just overnight and i'll be back in no time all right so stay tuned look at tim walking like an old man <laughs> and my man got shorts on it's about to be 30 degrees outside <laughs> <laughs> part one, part one right there. We just landed. Know. Now we gotta go pick up the trucks. I'm going in a boat. Ah, uh, let's get this money. Let's get this money, baby. First time in Indianapolis. Nice crisp weather. Nice and deserted. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one in here. I never seen an airport this this empty. Never. Oh yeah. Sheesh. Let's get this bread. Chill. <laughs> Wait, I think she got us a hotel at the end spot? What's that supposed to be? Like those jellyfish? things up there? Like jellyfish? Oh, before right, we Oh, the Indy 200. Oh, oh. Uh, the Yeah. I want to be on the road. I got you. I got you. So we finally here. We just got out the Uber. Listen. I'm not a truck driver, but these trucks right here, they're brand new. They're kind of sexy, right? Look at that Super Duty. <laughs> yeah. This, this is what they use to fix the electrical poles and stuff like that. So we came all the way out to Indianapolis just to move these trucks from Indianapolis to Chicago. So we're going to Chi-Town right now. We just landed about 40 minutes ago, 45 minutes ago so. And uh, we're like in the middle of nowhere. I've never been, like I've only been through Indianapolis. Only been through it. 
This time I'm actually putting my feet on the ground. <laughs> and I don't know where I'm at, but it's, it's, I'm having a good time and making money at the same time. Why not, right? So let's get it, baby. It is 9.48 p.m. right now. First, we just, you know, we hit the spot to eat. Up, Got that up. southern hospitality in the, what is this, the Midwest? <laughs> I don't even know. We, now we gotta gas up. We gotta gas up. Taking up the whole gas station? Yeah. What in the world happened over there? Things you discover on the road. Bulk of the job is done. What time is it? It is 1.51 a.m. So we landed in Indianapolis. We drove, got right in the cars, right in the trucks, I should say. Drove straight to Illinois, Chicago. Now we're about to call it a night. We're gonna wake up real early, probably get like three hours of sleep. We gotta take the trucks to a certain location. And after we do that, the job is done. We get on the plane, we go back home to New York around 8.50 in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning. That's when our plane takes off. So it's a grind, a quick grind. <laughs> it's kind of fun, I ain't gonna lie. Probably the fastest $400 I made in my life doing a, a job. So my man Tim got the presidential suite. Yeah, let's, let's see. Let's trying to see what it looks. <laughs> trying to see what this thing looks. Wrong door, man. Yeah, hey, really, we're wrong. Yeah, shot. We are close to Chicago. Yeah, man, you probably got a coffee machine and stuff. Oh, it's not that much bigger. I thought they had a living room. Uh, yeah, you got a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he say you had a living room? Yeah. Lying. This is the living room. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a New York City apartment. Yeah, yeah man. Right, and this right here is running fifteen hundred dollars a month. <laughs> oh, you got the you got the suite. You he gave you the suite. No, I don't want it. Hold on. Yeah, what in that? See, this is the suite. Yeah. <laughs> Right? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> so we made it. Your boy done showered. I'm exhausted. It was a long day. I'm here in the room now and the bulk of the job is done. I didn't work. I can barely talk now. I worked from, uh, I did my, my full-time gig, full-time job this morning. Eight, ran to the airport basically, got out to Minneapolis, came all the way to Illinois, did two basically two jobs in the same day, and I'm about to get like a two hour nap in a hotel room just to get up to uh, finish the job off. The drop off location for the trucks is only about five minutes away, literally, so that's a piece of cake, and then we gotta run back to the airport, but this time in Chicago, so we can uh, fly back to New York and uh, finally end the job, but yeah, guys, so I'm a uh, See you guys in the morning. It's about 2 30 a.m. right here in um, Illinois. And uh, I'm going to catch you tomorrow. Right now. Peace. It's about 6 10 in the morning. No breakfast. It's 6 10 in the morning, guys. No breakfast. This is the breakfast I got right now. It's just a little, <laughs> little cold morning Joe. That's about it. That Starbucks 
That Starbucks special, that's the one I like to drink. But yeah, guys, we uh back on the grind. We're gonna finish this job up and get the heck up out of here. Fly back to New York. Our flight's at 8.30. We left 45 degree weather, weather to come to 30 degrees out here. Yeah. And this guy's still wearing shorts. <laughs> you gotta love it. He got all that insulation. Me, I have none of that. <laughs> gotta let this baby warm up a little bit. Gotta warm up a little bit so before we even start making Yo, moves. See, you see that? She looks sexy, right? Yeah. See, we see the remote, bro. I feel like I'm about to go fix somebody's power. <laughs> this is weird. So we ran into an issue. The gates are all locked up, but we have to deliver here. <laughs> you would think they would know we were coming. So we can just, uh, so we could just, you know, deliver our packages so we can get out of here. But we got to see if somebody's in the office so they can unlock the gate so we can drive them all in. Well, there we go. One open gate of four or five of them. <laughs> Take the next left, then turn left. At least we found one. That made life much easier just now. Yeah. I'll be right there. Oh, see that? Left the lights on. Hold on, you got a light on. No, I turned it off. Oh, okay, cool. All right, we're good. Job yeah. well done. Uh, straight down and then make a right. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Job well done. I don't even know if you can see me. It's like Blair Witch Project out here right now. Cars, right? <laughs> look at that. Look at that sun coming up. Ooh, look at that. Pretty. Now it's just time to go home now. Let's get it. Our flight is in. Let me see what time is it. It is 6.44. Our flight is at 8.30. So we have about an hour and 45 minutes to get there okay, we gotta leave. We, you don't get to let's go Wait, I don't, I don't got the Uber now, okay so that's not a problem tim's over here handling it a business and uh once we get this settled we're gonna be in, on our way to the airport Yeah, man. Yeah, try to get it back. Yeah, this is how they turn into LaGuardia. You see it, right? Yeah. They're fixing it LaGuardia. up big time. Yeah, I like LaGuardia better than JFK now. Yeah, they're fixing it. So here we are again in, at the airport, not even 12 hours later. <laughs> 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 and I noticed that they, they ask you to, you're only allowed to put your mask down like twice. You know, you put your mask down one time when you when you, they need to ID you to make sure your face matches your ID. And then also obviously when you're when you're eating you can lower your mask. But other than that, you know, that's how this uh situation's got us right now, guys. But we flew in on United and we're going back on American. This one's a bigger plane. Should be nicer, much nicer in there, but yeah, guys. As Tim stuff his face, that's right. Yeah. 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 So, our plane just literally got canceled and we got switched to another plane. 
says something about the air conditioning not working. That's the first time I got in on a plane and settled and everything. Settled, right? All comfortable sitting down and had to get out and kick this out. <laughs> but safety first, right? Yeah, right. Trying to have a movie made about us. No, no movies. No movies. Oh, yeah, good footage. Only yeah, word, <laughs> right? This is good for the channel, right? <laughs> like, click the click the like button, subscribe. <laughs> we'll be landing on the Hudson? No, we're not doing none of that. We're gonna land on the wheels on the landing pad. Now we're gonna try this again. Let's see if we can board and get on and get out of here. Let's try this again. These handsome guys out here. Yeah. <laughs> he 22? <laughs> Stop flirting with the flight tender lady. <laughs> hey, how are you? All right. Back home, ah, finally, man. Finally, finally, finally. Listen, guys, we ran into a whole bunch of traffic on, well, we, I ran into a whole bunch of traffic uh, coming home, but I'm finally home. It is about four o'clock now, New York time. No, 3.54 New York time. And um, it's a nice little adventure, but uh, I just gave you like a nice walkthrough of how I just made $400 in basically 24 hours. <laughs> That's exactly what just happened right now. You kind of witnessed it step by step. I had fun filming it. It was an experience. The first time I've ever done anything like this. And um, I'm glad you guys stuck to the end of this video and went on um, the ride along with me. Uh, so listen, if you like videos like this and if you would like to leverage your income, okay, this is just one of many that I'm gonna be doing, but I want you to focus on leveraging income because it's one thing to, you know, grind it out for your income, but it's another thing to grind and then help others grind. And when others grind, you make an income as well. So I want to say leverage your income is the smart thing to do. Have your money, make money. All right. That's what you want to do. You want to click the links below for more information on leveraging your income. Okay. And if you, like I said, if you'd like to learn how to make more money from home, uh, you want to like my page, excuse me, like my, uh, you know, subscribe to my channel, like the video and, you know, take a look at other videos I have on my YouTube channel, man. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you. 